Welcome to Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 Coffee Mug Tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodnesson, founder of Enecta, a Microsoft Gold certified partner. Using a coffee mug as an example, I'll show you how to create items, purchase orders, sales orders, manage inventory, and much more. So go ahead and grab your own cup of joe and let's get started. Hello and uh, welcome to the Coffee Mug Tutorials. Uh, we are here at the uh, last day of the year of 2015. And uh, what I wanted to go through today is um, how to close the year. Now, normally we close the year somewhere in January or February after we've uh, posted everything in 2015 and are all satisfied with all the numbers. However, at the Coffee Mug International, we uh, have been really good at keeping the numbers straight and we we're able to close on the 31st. Now, obviously that is not very realistic and we are a fictional company, so we are able to do this and, uh, and I'm just going to go through that today. Uh, now, if I go here into departments, and by the way, we are now running 2016. Uh, we upgraded recently. It didn't take us more than an hour, which is also fairly unrealistic. But that's the nice part of being in a fictional company. And now I go here into a uh, periodic activities, into fiscal year, and accounting periods. Now, we have defined uh, 12 accounting periods for 2015, and uh, the first thing we need to do is actually define 2016. Now, even if you haven't closed the year or booked all the numbers for 2015, if you do not have an accounting period for 2016, uh, it would be advisable to generate that right away uh, before you close the year. So that's something you could actually be doing today or at the last day of the year. Um, possibly you have already created maybe a couple of years ahead and that's fine. In this case I don't, so I'm going to go ahead and create um, a new accounting period. My starting date is going to be um, 010116 and period length is one month and then it's generated just like that so now we have a new fiscal year uh, 010116 and another one on 017 all right now what i want to do next is actually close uh, 2015 so i can go in here and hit close here it tells me okay the function will close the fiscal year from 2015 uh, from january 2015 to december and once I close it, I cannot open it. So I'm just going to hit yes. And now it's closed. Now all that this process did was check off these boxes. Now there's no actual process that happens in the background, no, no postings, anything like that. It's just checked off in this table. What that means, however, is if you try to post anywhere in the system, it will block you. So you're, you're locked. Um, and you can really only post on to one uh, date inside 2015. That date is uh, C123115, which is reserved for just uh, year-end postings, uh, something from the auditors, etc. All right. Now, in order to post the retained earnings, we go to the next, next task. I go back here into fiscal year. I finished with the accounting periods. Now I go into close income statement. And that brings up this. Um, it's a process that goes through all of the transactions for 2015 on the income statement. It will post against those to clear out the income statement and move it to retained earnings. So I will make sure that the ending date for the year is correct. The general journal template is usually picked as general. Uh, batch is default. Document number, I like to change that to be year end 2015. That's more descriptive. I pick the retained earnings account here. That's the 30,200 in my case. 
uh, posting description I can change, but I'm happy with that one. I'm not using any dimensions. If I were, I would be uh, checking off which dimensions I want to close with. And the system, as I can see right here, and the system would be closing out based on those dimensions. But in this case, I'm not going to do that. Um, this is important if you're, if you're actually managing dimensions, because it'll post, it'll group by the dimension as well, uh, not only the GL account. And now I just hit OK. And the system goes through its processes. And what happened right now is it populated the general journal uh, default batch, as I specified. Now I have to go into that general journal and take a look at that. Now these are my closing entries. Um, our year was not very eventful. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, I'm actually closing out on our sales for 12,000, purchases 2,000. We got some costs for 82 and 50 dollars, and I am booking a 9,000 dollar profit, which is nice. Um, that's it. Now notice that the date is C. 123115. Now this is a date that's really only reserved for accounting systems. It does not exist in reality. Uh, it's the date after the 31st of December, but still inside the year 15. Uh, basically what that is, is you can look at all dates with C and see all the closing transactions, or you can look at all dates without it and then you see just the normal year. Um, so it's kind of handy that way. This is the only date that's open after you close the year. Uh, and it's meant to close out the financial statements. Now all I have to do is hit post. Yes. Now it's successfully posted. And I can go ahead and look at my chart of accounts. And if I... I just make this vis more visible here just like that uh, and if I go ahead and look at my changes now we had a lot of postings actually hitting 17 but I'm not interested in 17 right now I'm going to go and only look at 15 so I do dot dot 12 31 15 so these are my transactions for, and you can see that on the income statement we have if I go all the way down here, let me see, actually what I'll do is make it easier to look at like this. Now what I just did was filter on non-zero on net change and my date filter is up to the end of the year 2015. <clears throat> that way I see all the transactions there and notice I have my net income, net operating income as 9,867, and here is my cost, and here is the revenue, 12,000, and this is all the way up to 12,31,15. Now, if I look at including the C, it goes away uh, because it has booked the transaction against it. However, my retained earnings, if I go into that includes that closing in. Uh, you might just ignore this start here, but the closing entry comes in. And that's pretty much it for the uh, closing of the year. I hope you find this useful in closing 2015.